Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Southern. This is part five in the series of videos on normal distribution and in this video we're going to be talking about how to find an unknown mean and an unknown standard deviation. Uh, so the situation we have here is that the masses in grams of a certain variety of potato are normally distributed with a mean of mu and a standard deviation of sigma. So look, we don't know e, we don't know the mean and we don't know the standard deviation. But we're told that the probability that n is greater than 34 is 0 0.0228 and that the probability that n is less than 25 is 0 0.0062. So let's just have a think about where those values would be on our normal distribution. Um, I've drawn out the normal distribution for n here, so I'm going to label the mean as mu that we don't know. Now n is greater than 34 has a very, very small probability, so 34 um, has clearly got to be up here somewhere. So I'll label that in as 34, and the area to the right of that is 0 0.0. 228 and the probability that n is less than 25 is a very small probability to the left so there's your 25 and that area there is 0 0.0062 so I've been given two values with their associated probabilities which means I can form two equations to solve to find for the mean and standard deviation but to do that, I'm going to have to go to the standardised normal distribution. Z follows the normal 0, 1. So if I pop my mean line in, I've got a mean of 0. However, if I line up underneath my 34, if I draw a line in here, shade that area there, that area can be 0 0.0228. And that's a value of z. Similarly down here, if I line up with the 25, uh, I've got an area to the left here, which is 0 0.0062, um, and that's a different z value. So I'm going to call that one z1, and I'm going to call that one z2. Now I can use my inverse normal function on the calculator to find these two z values and go from there. So looking at z1 to start off with, the area to the left is 0.0062. My standard deviation is 1 and my mean is 0 because I'm using the standardised normal distribution. Um, and if I put that information into the inverse normal function of the class width calculator, uh, it will tell me that that z value, uh, z1, is negative 2.5. Now, it coming out negative makes sense. What it's saying is that this number here is two and a half standard deviations below the mean. That's why it's coming out negative, because the mean is zero, so anything this way, negative. So I've got that one z value there. What I'm going to do now is work on z2. Now, remember that the area when you're using the inverse normal has to be to the left of the line that you're at. So I'm not going to put in 0.0228. I'm going to put in one minus. 0 0.0228. Standard deviation is still 1, mean is still 0 because I'm still using z, and that tells me my inverse normal function that z2 is 2. So I'm two standard deviations above the mean here, meaning that 34 is two standard deviations above this mean, 25 is two and a half standard deviations below the mean. So Go into our standardising formula. Z equals x minus mean over standard deviation. My z value here is negative 2.5. The x value that that came from is from my first distribution, so that's 25. Minus the mean that I don't know over standard deviation um, that I don't know. I'm just going to do a quick rearrange on that. Uh, and it will get me that mu minus 2.5 standard deviation sigma is equal to 25. I'll just get rid of that little dot there, that's a bit confusing. Okay. So that's one equation with mu and sigma. Next I'm going to go to Z2. Again I'm going to crack out my standardising formula that Z equals X minus mean over the standard deviation. Z2 is 2. The x value that that's associated with 
is the 34. So 34 minus mean over standard deviation. And if I rearrange that one, I'm going to get mu plus 2 sigma is equal to 34. Now, solving those two equations simultaneously, uh, which you can use the calculator for, you should get that the standard deviation is at 2 um, and that the mean is 30. And just thinking about does that make sense in the context of the question? Well, the original question here, 34, 25, 30, so the mean is closer to 34 than it is to 25. That makes sense because this area is a little bit bigger than that one and the distribution is symmetrical. So it's all lending weight to us thinking we've probably got the right answer here. Um, what I will just go back to, I mentioned at this point here that Z1 is negative 2.5, 2.5 standard deviations below the mean. Z2 is 2, 2 standard deviations above the mean. That means that in this little region here, between 25 and 34, we have 4.5 standard deviations, 2.5 below, 2 above. And if we go back to our simultaneous equations that we were going to solve, the difference between these is 9, 4.5 standard deviation. So it all makes beautiful mathematical sense, which I'm a big fan of. Um, so there you go, how to use the standardised normal distribution to find an unknown mean and an unknown standard deviation using simultaneous equations. Thanks for watching.